Hi, my name is Ophelia. I'm a clinical product manager at SSEM Tembu Medicals. Today's training is on the B6 cardiotocograph. This training will be focused on the sequence to follow when doing a cardiotocograph on a Sunrate B6 device, inserting the patient's demographics, discussing the different options and methods of printing on the Sunray CTG, tips and settings to remember. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will switch the device to demo mode as we do not have a patient. So the device is now on demo mode. The sequence to follow when doing a cardiotocograph on a Sunrate B6 device is as follows. Switch on the device. Note that the device will perform a self-test. Once passed, the main screen will display. Press the start button and place the transducers onto your patient. Observe the connection indicators for the FHR placements. Observing the connection indicators of FHR placement. Gray would mean that you have no connection. Orange means you are close to the FHR patient device connection. Green means good contact. These are the FHR connection indicators. Increase the volume to hear the audio of the fetal heart rate's FHR once good contact has been achieved. The TOCO and the FHR numeric values will display here. FHR1 is black and it will display on your tracing as black there. FHR2 is purple and it will display as purple there. FHR2 has a negative 20. This ensures tracing separation. This is to ensure that there is no overlapping of the tracings. Remember when reading your tracing to add 20 BMPs. So this is FHR1. This is the connection for FHR2 on the device. This is the connection, a TOCO connection on the device. It is also color coded and it's blue. And then your fetal movement marker is also color coded and this is where you would connect it. Inserting the patient's demographics. Press bed. Pressing bed puts a blue border around your monitor tracing, giving you access to the inner menu. Using your control knob, rotate to the file. Push it once to select the file. Select patient info. Using the control knob, rotate it to the name field and select. Automatically, the keypad will be selected to type the patient name. Select CR to move to the next field. Continue this till you have completed the file and select Save. Return to the main menu. See that the file name appears at the bottom of the screen. On all the software versions of this device, the patient name will appear on the printout. Printing. Selective printing or the fast printing method. Press bed to access the display menu. Select the print icon on the inner menu. Push the control knob for a blue line to appear. Place the blue line where you would like the printout to start. Confirm with the control knob and the line will turn red. Click the control knob for a second time or for the second line to appear. Place the line where you would like the printout to end and confirm. Press and hold the big blue print button. Note that fast print does not work on battery. Observe. The next method of print is a real-time printing. Press and hold the blue print icon Note that this method of printing only prints from the time you press print and will stop when the stop is selected or the default printing time is reached. The length of this printout will depend on the default setting under printer settings. 
tips and settings to remember. Ensure that the CTG print speed is at one centimeter per minute. Follow this process. Press menu, system settings, printer settings, CTG print speed, and set it to one centimeter per minute and save. Setting fetal parameters or alarms and ensuring that your screen display is the same as your printing time. Do this by press menu, go to fetal settings, change the grid type to 30 to 240. Ensure that your fetal separation is on so your FHRs do not overlap. Set your FHR high limits and set your FHR low limits. And then you press save. The B6CTG is able to keep up to 100,000 files into its system. Each file can be as long as 2,880 minutes long. Once this number is reached, it will overwrite the oldest file. This means you can always load old files and print out your tracing again. So you do this by press menu, load files, pick a file you would like to see again by rotating the control knob and highlighting it in green. Confirm and print. Selective printings on old files. Okay, press bed. Then you go to the little print icon there. You press and then you press again to get a green line. And then you press print, then you will get a fast print. Thank you so much for tuning in. For more information and device specifications, please click the link below. And to see more videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe to our training channel. Thank you.